Well, today, guys, I have got me some more scrap materials that someone was going to throw away. I got some old cyclone fencing that taken down and rolled up. I got me another big water trough to make a raised bed out of. And I have me another wire contraption y'all see coming up here that I'm going to make a raised bed out of. Look what I got me today. Yep, that's trash. I know that's what y'all thinking. But that cyclone fence right there. Someone took their fence down, didn't want it. I'm gonna recycle that. I get ready to get me some goats or something. You never know. I got some wire. That old water trough right there got a hole in it. No good for a water trough no more, but it's gonna make me a nice raised bed. That wire, I'd have no clue what that's all for. But y'all are about to see what I'm gonna do with it. It's gonna turn into a nice raised bed. Okay, everyone. What we finna make out of this trash that I just picked up is here's an old water tank got a hole rusted back here in the back. This wire ring, rectangle shape, 16 inches high. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut some. I got some scrap tin right behind me. I'm gonna cut my tin 16 inches high. We're gonna put that tin around that. And then when we fill it up with soil, we're gonna have a a good raised bed. Now you may ask what am I going to do about the hole in the tank? Well, when you're making a raised bed, you don't need a bottom in it. So I'm going to cut the bottom out. And I'm going to take that piece of metal that comes out of the bottom. And on the inside of here, I'm going to put it over where that's rusted spot. And when you fill this up with soil, the soil can't fall out. You can't see nothing. And you got to good raised bed. You can paint these. If you've seen one of my previous videos, I already have one out there made a raised bed out of them. I painted it. You can buy a can of spray paint. A couple dollars at the dollar store. But you can find some good stuff that people are throwing away to make you some good raised beds. And I'm going to show you how to make it. Also, one I was finding today Someone threw away a good fish cooker. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Oh, put the hose on it. You got a fish cooker. But out here in the country, people put the trash out by the road. The trash people comes by and picks up the trash. So sometimes you just driving down the back road, and you'll see something like this sitting out there. You pull up and say, "Hey man, you throwing that away? Why sure? Care if I get it? Why no?" Throw it back in the truck. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Look just as good as the ones I got. But anyway, we finna get started. First, I'm gonna turn this tank over. Cut the bottom out of it. Patch that rusty spot. Then I'm gonna cut my tin 16 inches long so we can stand it up around this wire rectangle ring. I don't know what that come off of. Been to see it's going to make a good raised bed. The guys raised beds that they sell that look just like this water tank. It's $150 sometimes or more and they ain't this deep. That'd be about 12 inches deep. Be $100 and not even be the, as the length of this. But anyway, let's get started. See right here where this water tank's rusted too. Most times these water tanks are rust on the seam where they put together. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it spliced. And it's gonna be on the inside. 
And if you really want to pretty it up, you can buy some putty, silicone putty, and wash this and smooth that out after you splice it when you paint it. You ain't going to see that unless you just right up close on it. And like I said, we may paint it another day. I paint some of them. But I'm starting to like the old rustic look on everything. I'm old rustic fellow. <laughs> We don't have a whole lot of bottom in it, like six. You want it where your water goes down, plus it. Y'all see how I'm gonna set it up, Meta? Uh, I'm gonna cut this. Save that later. I ain't gonna tell them what I might do with it later. Use it on another little project. gonna put just a couple of screws in here and then I cut them off where they're sticking out the back but I'm gonna put just a couple of screws just to hold it while I'm filling it up with dirt this tin won't fall over now the water tank is ready to go to the garden I'm going to cut my tin for this wire bed we're going to make. I already pre-marked this tin 16 inches, but I'm going to draw me a line across it where I'm going to cut it. These forks on front of this tractor here makes a good platform to work out of. So if you're in the market buying a tractor, check out my video on the review of the Mahindra 1626 and the demonstration of hooking up and unhooking the forks and front end buckets. <laughs> a little short because this is going to smash in the ground so it can't move. I put the rusted, the rusted side of the old tin to the inside since the dirt is going to cover it up. We're going to put that right around there just like that. Fill this up with dirt. When we get done, we're going to be looking at something like that right there. set it in there and filling it up with dirt it all stay together without me having to steady and move it and stuff screw it from the outside through that way when the screws are sticking over they're going to be inside the dirt so it won't mind
some of my tall raised beds in my garden I just took tin which is the thicker metal the three foot wide tin like people's putting on their houses and shops cut it two foot tall screwed it together like this if you make it in a circle and then once you screw the screw in the end you start filling it up with your soil and you keep it rounded as you go you can fill it up and it can't go nowhere because it's a circle so where if you try to make rectangles or something it would up you would have to have something to keep it straight but the circle the circle it would just make a circle since i got that piece of rectangle wire there i'm gonna just make a rectangle one out of it because it'll hold it'll hold my shape with this tin so if you ain't got something you can just take tin and make circles and build your raised bed something. Real simple. So I'm going to get this moved out to the garden and I'll be right back for y'all. Okay guys, now we're out in the garden. I decided where I'm going to put this. So we're going to start with the wire rectangle first. Like I said, you just it's got some spikes, so I just shove it down in the ground a couple inches. Take the tin that we screwed together, bend it, fit it right up in that corner. Tight. Bend it right around. And when you put dirt in there, and I fill this up with dirt, it's going to shove that out against them corners. But I'm going to put one screw right here just to hold this in. This one ain't but 16 inches high. So I'm gonna fill it up with soil. Some of my other little beds out here, if you look on the previous videos, and I may show you some here in a minute. If they ain't this high, I would take a shovel and I would dig down into the ground a couple of foot. That way I could put some good composted soil down in there. This one's deep enough for what I'm going to be growing in it. At uh, 16 inches, I'm going to just fill it with my... I'm going to start out with just some good soil I got, and then the top few inches is going to be my free compost. If you ain't seen my free compost, you need to check them videos out. Tells you how to get free compost and where to get it from. hit that subscribe button and you can keep up with all this good tips I'm giving you. That's some of the best compost I've ever seen. You'll see it here in just a little bit. So right now I'm gonna put my dirt in here, get my compost, finish this little bit and then we'll move on to the water trough. Now the water trough we're gonna do something a little different since it's so so tall. It's it's like 24 inches deep. I got a tall bed like that. I don't fill it all the way up with soil. So stay with me and I'm gonna put some dirt in this one. so it wouldn't fall out and push my tin. Now I gotta dig the dirt out. I shoulda, I shoulda. Went on and shoveled it out of the truck. Keep this from happening. And you put your dirt in. 
have to shove it up in your corners as you're coming up. So to keep it, keep your, keep your tin shoved out everywhere straight. If you don't, it'll buff it. How many of you ever seen compost that good that people you can get for free? Check out the other video and you'll see. Smells so good, it makes me want to just get up in there and lay down in it. All right, guys. This little bed's finished. All I'm going to do is wait till planting time. Decide exactly what I'm going to plant in. That may be a good spot to grow my little... Cut and come again, lettuce. Carrots. No telling what I may have in there. I gotta start getting all this organized on what I'm gonna plant first, I guess. It's getting that time. All right, now we're gonna move to the water trough. We're gonna do something a little different on it. Okay, guys, now we're gonna start on the water trough bed. What I'm going to do here is not new. It's something the ancient people did back many, many, many years ago. Only thing, they didn't do it in water troughs or raised beds. They got a name for it, and I'm going to pronounce it wrong, but I'm going to try. It ain't nothing new, and you see on these videos, people doing it now. The ancient people would take just wood, then they would put leaves and dirt and all up around their wood or stumps or trash piles, put dirt on top of it, and they would plant on top of it. And it only makes common sense to me because your wood up under there, when it starts decaying and rotting, it's going to hold in your moisture. Plus, this one's going to attract your worms and your good insects. You put nutrition in your soil. So what I'm going to do here, it's better, I think, if you use some wood that's just started decaying and rotting it. Some of these wood I got I've cut here lately is still green, but it'll, it'll start decaying and rotting in one day. But I'm gonna put some wood in here, and I got some leaves, I'm gonna fill in the void, and I got a tub here to where I started dressing up my other raised beds. I always remove some of the top soil and then put some fresh compost on top. Don't ever throw that away. Put that in your compost pile situations like this but it ain't no sense in filling this 26 inches high with good compost so we're gonna put the wood and some leaves in the bottom for about a foot deep good eight inches deep foot in places and then I put me some soil and then top it off with compost Like I said, it, it works just about all my raised beds. I started doing that in because now as time goes by and your wood decays, your dirt's gonna settle in, but that'll just keep me from having to remove some every year. I just add new compost on top of it, keep going until it stops settling every year.
this here is a rake made for pulling concrete. But it comes in so handy gardening. It's aluminum, aluminum handle, feather light. I actually like it better than a regular rake for this. Guys, look at that free compost again. This morning when I pulled up, y'all seen that on that trailer, y'all thought, hey, what is he doing bringing that load of trash? But now you can see that load of trash can be recycled and turned into something very good and grow you some food and be a little self-sufficient. Well guys, there's your finished product of today's trash find. There's the water trough I already had. I planted in it last year. And there's the other bed that we done just a few moments ago. But y'all can see why I got that fencing also on that trailer. I done expanded my garden area one time. Cause I'm trying to keep things spaced out where I can get my tractor worked in between. Here's back behind me. There's my in ground garden and that's where I raise my tomatoes. And this year I'm gonna have a trellis made like an arch going down through that one side and that's where my running beans is gonna go and then my tomatoes. A lot of these raised beds out here, I had to cut down a lot of trees. I planted a bunch of trees out here years and years ago. So where some of these is where a tree was at and I actually built the rings around the, around the stumps, which I think is like doing a water trough is gonna help in the long run when that stumps right inside there what you see covered up there are my strawberries I started them early you keeping them covered so I have a head start this spring but anyway that's a little overview got my musky down trellises And back in the corner, I got my little swing fighter set up. It's got partially growing in it right now. That sink there, that was a sink when my wife first started cutting hair. It come out of her first beauty shop she worked in. You didn't see the video on building that little swing fighter. You need to go back and watch it. It's just got partially growing there in the sitting in it right now but this spring I'm gonna have something makes it makes it look just a little bit prettier. Well guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have a great day.